So my name is Paul Doe, I'm the Chief Engineer of the Chassis Group at ProDrive Motorsport in Banbury in the UK. Um, my role is to manage and look after all of the chassis engineering projects for all of our various motorsport projects we have at ProDrive, um, including off-road and, and race applications as well, and also more recently some of our road projects like the P25 Subaru. So the printers um, give us quite a lot more opportunity to do things differently uh, where we might have used some traditional methods to make parts before even machining and, and so on is um, straight away we can using additive manufacturing is a game changer full stop anyway in terms of making certain kinds of parts we can make bits that we never could make before um, but also it's not just that it's the speed um, we can have a design an idea for a design and uh, we can literally press print and we can have it in our hands an hour or two later and check if it's gonna do what we want. Um, and then um, with the twin print heads on that particular machine, we're able to, once we have a design that we wanna do, we wanna make quite a few of them. We've had some circumstances where we've needed to make um, a lot of parts quite quickly and using the twin print heads, we're able to churn those out and get them into the hands of our race team as quickly as possible. One of the things that's important to us is quality, and that goes across the board of everything we do. Um, and I'm glad to say that we get, you know, a very good quality of part out of the BCN 3D machines. Um, not only is the quality high, but it's very consistent, which is also important. You know, if we, we do testing, we go out with a car into the desert in the Middle East or whatever and do, you know, two weeks worth of testing and we sign off some parts, we need to be sure that every part that goes on the car subsequently is the same. Um, you know, that's obviously a key part of quality in the end is it's not just um, how good is a part, but how consistent is a part. And that's one of the things we've really seen with the machines. We're able to make the same part absolutely identically um, every single time. And that gives us confidence that when we start the event with a brand new part straight off the machine, it's going to behave exactly the same as the one that was tested, which is, you know, that's, that's how we're able to uh, get the reliability in the car and get the results we need. One thing's for sure, there's no way we'd be able to achieve what we're doing without this technology. Um, some, it, we've been using it a while now, and we're so used to it that I, I guess it's become commonplace, but if I was to sit here and think what would it be like without the, the machines uh, on tap, I, I don't know how we'd, we'd manage to get what we've got done in, in the same way. We'd uh, it'd definitely be a big step backwards.